Happening now, students in the Bellbrook Sugar Creek School District, they're having a protest outside the Board of Education office. And uh, uh, the uh, purpose of the demonstration, it comes days after the board voted in favor of taking the words gender identity and sexual orientation out of its anti-harassment and non-discrimination policies. News Center 7's Brandon Lewis is live in Bellbrook. And Brandon, you've noticed students are not the only ones that are there. Gabby and Cheryl, when we got here a couple of hours ago, it was about a couple dozen students, teachers and community members here just making their voices heard. The crowd has died down here a bit, but still people out here just behind me, as you can see, just waving flags, holding up signs, standing in solidarity this afternoon. Last week, the board said it wanted to coincide its policies with the current legal landscape. They said there are no federal or state anti-discrimination statutes that cover sexual orientation and identity. Gender identity, the board did say it intended to change another one of its policies to be more inclusive. But the students I talked to said there's no word yet on when that will actually happen. So in the meantime, they're going to continue to make their voices heard. I care about the safety of like me and my fellow peers and personally don't want to get like hate crime in the hallways. I'm just trying to go to like class. I think we're all just trying to spread positivity today. Just show that... We're people too. We want everybody else to care as much as we do, and we're not going away. Ella, that student who you just heard from started an online petition the day after the board's vote last week. Since then, it's gotten more than 1,200 signatures. She told me she plans to bring that petition to the next Board of Education meeting. I reached out to the board this afternoon for an interview. They gave me this statement instead saying the district recognizes the right of the students to protest and make their feelings and voices heard. We recognize it's an emotional issue and we support the First Amendment right of our students. We are encouraged that district leadership is scheduled to meet with some students in the coming days to continue the conversation about board policy. This continues to be a very high priority for the board. And the people here behind me said they plan to be here for the next hour or so. We're live in Bellbrook, Brandon Lewis, New Center 7. All right, Brandon.